at night before you go to bed, everybody's asleep. You're lying in bed, quiet as quiet can be for you. You just start listening to all the different streams of energy, streams of noise, and it's a symphony out there. There's crickets, there's frogs, there's traffic, there's this, there's that. Separate each sound from the others and just listen very closely. Train yourself to hear because somewhere underneath all of those earthly sounds, there is a hum. There is a tone and it's a vibration and this is the tone and the vibration of our dimension. This is the song of the spheres or the music of the spheres and it's perceptible by all of us but most of us don't think to actually listen for it. And when you do and you hear that, that tone, that hum, that resonance, select that stream of sound over the rest. And so we're not focusing or leaning into the crickets anymore. We're not focusing or leaning into the traffic anymore. No, we're going to focus and very gently lean into the sound of that tonality or the sound of that hum. And be careful here. With psychic abilities, if you chase them, they go away very quickly. You have to find a way to just be with them. You're aware that you're hearing a tone. You're aware that there's a frequency or that there's music because that's what it turns into. But instead of getting all crazy and going, oh my God, I can hear something which will immediately make it recede, just be with it, breathe. And allow yourself to passively observe it as if out of the corner of your eye. And if you do that, it will get louder. It's kind of, it's a technique, it's a, it's a ride the lightning technique. How to be in it but not in it kind of a thing. If you can manage to do it and stay with that frequency, once you find it, it may take you a little while to get it, it'll start to develop for you. It'll start to open up this particular psychic ability and you will hear something more than a tone or a frequency. You will start to hear instruments. You'll start to hear voices. There are an infinite amount of voices that exist within that one vibration. I'm just here to tell you. If you can learn to be with the sound of it, you can start to make up, make out words here and there that come through this particular tone. This is best to do when you're dropping off to sleep in that hypnagogic state, all drowsy, all tranced, half of you in 3D, half of you in 4D. 4D is where all these sounds are coming. 3D is where you are perceiving them and you will remember them. Try to hang out in that trance state and those tones will turn into words, will turn into messages, will turn into names, will turn into all kinds of cool things. And this is how you develop your clear audience, which I suspect you have a burgeoning ability for. I don't know if you've ever heard your name called out before, maybe when you sleep. Um, I don't know if you've, you've heard a lot of ringing in your ears. I don't know if you've already heard the hum or the tonality, but again, this seems burgeoning coming up. You might, it might be unrecognized at this point, but this is something that you should work with because I think you could develop it. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.